Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Book of Genesis, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series, written by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox, and this is the cover of the book, and I'm not sure if you can still get this book, and if you're able to get it, it will be available on the internet at the church website, and I'll give you all that information at the end of the broadcast. This was a devotional type of commentary, where Brother James wrote, wrote different topics throughout the year, and we started yesterday on this five-part series titled A Treaty, and yesterday was part one, the 28th, so if you missed that, um, or you missed any of the broadcasts so far on this series of uh, devotionals, you can go back and watch them on the YouTube channel, and I'll give you that information at the end of the broadcast also. So we've reached uh, the second part of this topic on a treaty, and this is uh, for June 29th, and it's titled A Treaty Part 2, The Reason for the Agreement. So we started yesterday, as I said, and we'll continue on today and be going all the way till the first day of July. Or no, the, uh, the second day of July will be uh, going all the way through that day. And there's five parts to this series of um, messages here. So, all right, so let's go ahead and put that there. And before we get started on this topic, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and he too can be your Lord and Savior today if he's not already, and that is the most important thing you can ever do, is to call upon Jesus Christ to save your soul, and realize that he is the only one that can do so, that he came down to this earth and was born a virgin, lived a holy, sinless life, and then he laid down his life on the cross, and he took it up again the third, third day, according to scripture, and he did that for everyone, for all the sins of the world, and if you simply call upon him, believe on him, and know that you can't save yourself, and no other man can save you. It's only Jesus Christ, who is God manifest in the flesh, and, and realize who he is, and what he came down here to do the first time, and realize you're a sinner, and you're dead in trespasses and sin, and you're lost and undone, and can't save yourself, as I was just speaking of, and trust Jesus as your Savior, and he will gladly wash away all your sin, and give you eternal life, and then he'll come and dwell inside of you, the Holy Spirit, and then he'll help you um, as you desire to have him do so and rule and reign in your heart and your mind and your soul. And don't give in to the flesh. Let the flesh stay crucified and dead and buried and the old man and all that. So and that is all throughout the Bible. And so I encourage you to get into it after you get saved and read it and study it and grow in the Lord. And uh, amen. All right. So let's go ahead now and get into this topic for June 29th titled... A Treaty Part 2, The Reason for the Agreement. And we continue on through this uh, passages here, which we started yesterday, uh, Genesis 26, verses 26 through 33. And he's breaking down the um, verses here. And so we did that yesterday and continue on in that today. So let's uh, read this here. It says, uh, Let there be now an oath. And Brother James's note on this, he says, The Philistines were afraid of opposing one who they could see was blessed and prospered by God. So, and that's a little note there. Next it says, Betwixt us and thee, as he continues to break down the verse, the verses. And this little note here on that, it says, Whatever others might or might not do, they wanted to ensure that they were on the right side they made a decision and showed a determination which, when shown by a sinner uh, toward the gospel, carries him through the conversion and salvation. So, praise God for that. So, that's that little note on uh, that part of the verse. And next, uh, this part of the verse says, Let us make a covenant. And then Brother James's note here says, In the same way many Gentiles have been ready to subscribe to God's new covenant made with them in the blood of Jesus for the remission of sins, Matthew 26, 28. So, and that's um, that little note there. Next, uh, it says that thou wilt do us no harm. And Brother James writes this about that part of the verse. It says this, Abimelech was not as generous as his father had been when he dealt with Abraham, see 21 verses 22 through 32, 
So let's look at that really quick and go back there and see about this first Abimelech, his father. So again, it says um, this Abimelech was not as generous as his father had been when he dealt with Abraham in Genesis 21, 22 through 32. So let's go look at that really quick. So Genesis 22. Make sure I get the right one here. I don't want to read something. All right, so it's 21. So chapter 21 and verses 22 through 32. So let's read this here. All right, so 22 through 32 says, And it came to pass at that time that Abimelech and uh, Phicol, the chief captain of his host, spake unto Abraham, saying, God is with thee. And all that thou doest, now therefore swear unto me uh, here by God that thou wilt not deal falsely with me, nor with my son, nor with my son's son, but according to the kindness that I have done unto thee, thou shalt do unto me, and to the land wherein thou hast sojourned. And Abraham said, I will swear. And Abraham reproved Abimelech because of a well of water, which Abimelech's servants had violently taken away. And Abimelech said, I wot not who hath done this thing, neither didst thou tell me, neither yet heard I of it. But today, and Abraham took sheep and oxen, and gave them unto Abimelech, and both of them made a covenant. And Abraham set seven ewe lambs of the flock by themselves. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What mean thee, or excuse me, what mean these seven ewe lambs which thou hast set by themselves? And he said, For these seven ewe lambs shalt thou take of my hand, that they may be a witness unto me that I have digged this well. Wherefore he called that place Beersheba, because there they swear both of them. Uh, th thus they made a covenant at Beersheba. Then Abimelech rose up, and Philcal, the chief captain of his host, and they returned into the land of the Philistines. So that's the chapter there, or the verses there from that chapter. And let's get back into the um, little outline here. All right, so again, uh, this is from the part of the verse that says that thou wilt do us no harm. And it says this Abimelech was not as generous as his father had been when he dealt with Abraham. And we just looked at 21 verses 22 through 32. And continuing on, it says the request that he makes here seems to have had fear as its motive rather than any desire for spiritual blessing. The last thing that the people of God will do is to injure those in need around them. Abimelech's mind was evidently in darkness. Much of the world fears Christianity for two reasons. First, the murderous and thieving abuses suffered by many nations at the hands of the Roman Catholic Church and the fact that this outfit claims to be Christian and we know they're not. Maybe some people come out of that religion and get saved, but we know that they're not the true church. Churches, those that have believed in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. So that's the first thing there why um, the world fears Christianity. And then the second is the news media and entertainment industry consistently portray Christians as evil and dangerous. Yeah, that's the truth. Uh, for these reasons, long and faithful testimony is needed by an individual, a church, or a missionary before much progress can be made for the cause of Christ. We must depend on the Spirit of God to move in the hearts of lost men and overcome the obstacles Satan has placed between them and the cross. So that's good advice there to take heed of. And that is where we conclude part two of this topic on a treaty, the reason for the agreement. And tomorrow we'll continue on in part three for the 30th. And this is titled A Treaty Part Three, The Blindness of Sinful Men. So that will be tomorrow. And this was on page uh, 237, today's um, outline and topic. And tomorrow will be on page 238. And then um, we have a treaty part four for the 
first and then treaty part five for the second and so that will be for the next three days so all right so that's it for today's little outline and topic um, for the second part of a treaty and again you can find uh, brother james's books online and uh, that is at the church website at www.jameswnox.org or go straight to the store part of the website which is store dot jameswnox.org and look up his books and other material that way including sermons uh, both past and present and audio or video format and then the youtube channel for the church is james knox sermons youtube channel and that's where you can find uh, his video presentations from all his sermons and then other sermons from other men that teach and preach god's word during the sunday school hour and uh, days that brother or weeks that brother james is not in a here to uh, preach when he's at other meetings and stuff so and then also brother james has been going through the book of james and also brother david has been doing his own uh, series of message on book of james so um, check those out and that's the radio broadcast which can be listened to at audio or video uh, format on the youtube channel so that's that and then the books here and like i said not sure if this book is still available but when it comes back out it'll be a chapter by chapter verse by verse commentary and if you missed any of these broadcasts on this book of genesis i've been reading through you can go back and watch them on the youtube channel it might be an easier way to look them up instead of having to scroll down on the facebook page if you're friends with me on facebook so however you watch it however you want to do it that's how you can uh, watch the broadcast both this one and the baptist bread and scripture song broadcast on either facebook or youtube and the youtube channel is ambassador for christ broadcasting or looking me up by typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on the YouTube channel there. So, amen. All right, so that is it for today. So thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now.